What's up, everybody? Another episode of Justin Kicks. Um, before I get into anything, go go hit the subscribe button for me, please. Um, I've been waiting a long time for this this episode, and as I've said before, we're gonna talk about movies. Music, sneakers, everything, and the movie that everybody's been waiting for came out Thursday. Me and Quay went and seen it last night, and you know I, I was go almost wanted to come home and do a video right then, but I would have told everything. I would have told everything. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. The excitement level is on ten for this. Quay's got prom today. If Quay didn't have the prom today, I think I'd try to, if I could find a ticket, I would try to go back and, and see it again today. Talking about Avengers Endgame. Uh, I, if you haven't seen it, if you're, you're, if you're a Marvel fan and you're an Avengers fan, you, you either already have seen it or you already got tickets or playing to go see it. So I only have to tell you. But best to me, it was, it was perfect. It took uh, 20 some movies that's been in this Marvel Universe brought them all together. Brought them all together. And, and, and tied a bow in it made everything perfect. I will not give anything away. I will not tell anything that, you know, I know some people don't, don't go on Twitter, don't go on Facebook, Instagram if you want the full experience of the movie. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much time you have before it's all going to be out there, but I'm telling you now, go out and 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 see it as soon as you can before it's ruined for you. Because I'm telling you, I, I literally had to take Quay, grab him and sit him down. He was so excited. I mean, the movie was packed. Here in Winchester, I think they had it on uh, multiple screens. And we went to the 620 yesterday. And all the shows were sold out for Friday, and they were already selling out for Saturday. So I don't know if it's people that went and seen it twice or or what, but I know there was people being turned away at the door yesterday, and it was it was from the big. And I mean, the movie is three hours, but doesn't doesn't feel like three hours at all. Felt short to me because it's just so action packed and goes so fast. Even the slow moments. Or tying into old movies and and cleaning up stuff that was left in question, you know, all the all the, you know, the major players from the last one that's still alive, all play key roles throughout this movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's just you know, I didn't know how it was gonna go from the way the last one ended, but I mean I don't know that the Russo brothers could have done it any better. I really really don't. It was great. And, and with my excitement for this movie, I decided in this episode here today, uh, not only will I just give a quick review of the movie, but I'm going to bring out my inner nerd, uh, my inner collector, and just, you know, just show you a few of the things that, uh, <laughs> uh, as a big kid, have been collecting leading up to this movie throughout the, the you know, the Marvel you know, universe and the movies and everything they put out. Because, I mean, I just, it's collector's items to me and it brings back great memories. Uh, and the first one I'll start out with, I wanted to start with just a little bit of the collection I have of my Marvel, Marvel movie memories, I guess you would say. And this first one is from uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. And this is the uh, Red Skull figure. I don't know if you can... A little bit of a reflection there, but the Red School, uh, it's one of the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends series, uh, Marvel Studios, the first 10 years. It's the Red School. He comes with three different masks from the Hydra uh, Army. And as you know from the Infinity Wars, he has been relegated to protect the Soul Stone. This one here is from the... Uh, First Avengers, it's the Iron Man Mark 7. You see that there? Marvel Studios. And what this was, this is part of a collection that Marvel Studios put out with uh, Hasbro to um, essentially just uh, commemorate 
the 10 years that Marvel Studios has been putting out this movie. So they put out a uh, particular character from each movie um, in the in the, the, the lineage just to kind of give a throwback or an homage to that, uh, that movie and uh, one of the main characters out of the movie is from Avengers Age of Ultron. And I'll say I don't have them all. I think in the set there is um, 10, which I'm trying to complete the whole set. I wanted to try to complete the whole set prior to uh, the movie coming out, but some of them are a little harder to find than others. And some of them are a little bit more expensive than I want to pay, and I'm waiting to try to find them like on eBay for a better price. But this is a, a Avengers Age of Ultron, and uh, it's him himself. It's Ultron. You see that there? And um, one of the, at the time, you thought one of the uh, more uh, formidable um, people or villains for them. Next one I have here is from Ant-Man. And again, these are all from the Marvel Studios the first 10 years. And this is Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. And as you can see there, you got Ant-Man. You got his uh, face without the mask. You got Yellow Jacket. And then here in the middle, you can see it's got the two smaller versions of them. You know. So, like I said, I collect a lot of things. And these were a few of the things I said. It's a perfect time to talk about them because I just saw the movie. I'm excited about it. And just want to take a little trip down memory lane. Uh, next one, Captain America Crossbones. This is from Captain America Civil War. If you remember how that movie started out, this is the guy he uh, went up against at the very beginning. You get both of their alternate heads without the mask on them. And uh, got a reflection there, but you can see that. And um, got the, the, the shield, you know, the, the, the real shield. Not the one from Infinity Wars. And then this one is from Infinity War. And you've got Iron Man, Thanos, and Doctor Strange. See Strange there? You got Thanos and Iron Man with the alternate. Thanos has the ultimate he ultimate alternate head. And uh you know, Thanos is big in there. Thanos is huge. You know what I'm saying? I'll finish it off. This one I just saw. I'm a uh <laughs> I'm a, a big coffee drinker. My mama got me on coffee when I was young. And um, they had the Infinity, from the Infinity Wars, they had the gauntlet as a coffee mug. And I'll take this out and kind of just show it to you. There you go. The Infinity, all the Infinity Stones right there. Man, it's good stuff, man. Like I said, the movie did not disappoint in any way. In any way, it was great all the way around. I, I, I'm not going to give up anything. I think what I'd like to do, once people have had a chance to see it, I may uh, have Buford come on with me or, or Quay and um, just talk about, um, you know, everything that went into it. Everybody's thoughts on it and stuff like that. Because this is a movie that's going to be talked about for a little while. I, it's going to break all the box office records. I think for a Thursday night movie, I think it had already broke Star Wars record with like 60 million on the first night. And it, I was just talking to Buford. Uh, he's trying to go see it today, Saturday, and having trouble finding the ticket in Lexington because uh, they're, they're selling out fast. You know, Winchester sold out last night. People were, were trying to get tickets for the day. And they were already selling out, so it's just, it's just, it's just a whole, a whole other thing. Uh, it's just a Avengers Endgame, best one in the series, best one in the Marvel universe by far. To me, I don't even think it's a debate or a question. This, this was the best, the best Marvel movie, maybe best action movie. Some may say best movie 
of all time. But anyway, this is Jay Talk coming at you. As always, like I say, go check out Big Things Kentucky. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming through with, I got a few more episodes coming up. They're actually supposed to supposed to have dropped before this one. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Had some uh, personal things going on this week that uh, really set me back. But, you know, just uh, want to let, let everybody know some more shows is going to be coming down the pipe, ready to go. And uh, I'll holler at you next time.